So Dave, Romanian built M14P, right. 400 horsepower, radial engine. I mean, it just looks sexy. It, it does, it's four and a half Harley Davidson. <laughs> So it, <laughs> it's nine cylinders. Yeah, it's an M14P, uh, Russian and Romanian built. This one uh, was sent off to a company in Wichita, or Tulsa, excuse me, to have it overhauled. So they did some tricks to it. So it puts out about 400, 415 horsepower. It's supercharged. It's got a geared front end, so the prop turns slower than the engine does, which is kind of normal on these big radials or these, these radials. Uh, but it's a great motor. Uh, it's really, really reliable. The Russians used it in everything. Their uh, aerobatic airplanes, a lot of their helicopters, and it's been around for quite a while. And it's just a, a dead simple engine and really, really well built. Uh, this one's probably got about 60 hours on it since overhaul. And uh, it's been fairly trouble free, even with the teething pains of putting it in an airplane and you know never having messed around with one. Uh, the, uh, the, the beauty of the engine is that it's fairly light. It weighs about 500 pounds, which is you know about what a normal aircraft engine weighs, uh, and it puts out just gobs of horsepower and gobs of torque. This is a really big prop, and uh, it needs all this length and this pitch to be able to hold the power. Okay, so look, let's talk about the prop for a second, then I'm going to come back to some questions okay. in the engine because I noticed that this prop is pretty different than other airplanes mm -hmm. like this that I've seen with this prop. Now you've you but what are this special? Right? A lot of the guys that have this engine use what's called a scimitar prop. It's a it's a prop with a blade that's got a big curve in it. Right. And it's aerodynamically a lot more efficient. However, uh, it doesn't look right for this airplane. This airplane has a real 40s feel to it. And I was aware of that and I really enjoyed that about the design. So I asked MT to make me a, a prop that had a more traditional straight straight blade on it. And they call these P-51 blades because yeah. all the people who are building replica P-51s use this straight blade because it, it resembles what was on the original Mustang. And I've been really happy with it. I had a, I borrowed a prop from a friend of mine who has a tricycle version of this. And since that airplane sits tail high, yeah. the blades are real short. So there's four of them. And it it, it, it just looked completely out of, out of scale. It looked like a, a, a ceiling fan blade, you know, <laughs> on here. And uh, I just, just couldn't stand it. So I ordered this and I've been awesome. real happy with it. No, it looks great. It looks sexy for sure. So the engine, tell me like uh, oil consumption, cooling, like uh, you know, what's it like? It's a, it's a, a air cooled engine, obviously, and yeah. it's a dry sump system. So the oil that gets pumped in through the engine to lubricate all the rotating components falls to the bottom of the sump and then it gets sucked out by a scavenge pump and sent back to the uh, oil reservoir. As it goes back to the reservoir, it goes through an oil cooler and then goes into the tank and then the oil pressure pump, the positive pressure pump, picks that oil up and pushes it through the engine so again. So single pump or is there a is, there's a cable? There's a pressure pump and then there's a scavenge pump. There, there are two pumps on the same shaft, the coaxial, and one is pushing oil into the engine at a fairly high pressure and one is sucking oil out of the engine and putting it back in the reservoir to reuse it and go through it again. Okay. When I built the airplane, I changed all of this up. The original airplane had a, an exhaust ring that went around the back of the engine and then shot the exhaust straight down at the bottom. And then it had a scoop here that came out and, and gave you fresh air for the carburetor and air for the oil coolers. Well, I really, really wanted to have the exhaust come out three and three and three because you get to hear the individual cylinders, you get to see the smoke when it starts up and it shakes and it rattles and it's, it's you, know, part of, you know, snaps and pops. And that's part of a radial engine. So I redesigned the exhaust so I could have three coming out this side, three coming out that side, and three coming out the bottom. So in the process of doing that, I built an oil cooler scoop over here, which takes fresh air in. There's two of them. There are now. Okay. Uh, the first one when I built it, I built this and I thought this is very elegant. It'll take the air in, run it through the oil cooler, and then exhaust the air out the back of the scoop. It's a brilliant design. Very, very clever. Doesn't work very well at all. <laughs> okay. So I had to add another cooler, right. which I did, and it's a little bit bigger. And uh, again, it you know just takes air and runs it across the cooler and exhausts it out the back. And so now I've got really good control over the oil temperature, which is you know, critical for these, these kind of engines. Yeah.